Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach and welcome to this week's video blog posts. So this week we start with the second practice from Kusas and Posner's book, The Leadership Challenge. And the second practice is inspiring a shared vision. And it's actually one of my favorite practices, I guess, uh, in the whole book. Because when we're talking about vision, we're talking about sharing that vision. We're talking about motivating, uh, encouraging, and being enthusiastic about what we're doing, whether it is as a leader or for the organization as a whole. And Kusas and Posners talk about inspiring a shared vision in two ways. They say it's envisioning the future by imagining exciting and ennobling possibilities. Envisioning the future by imagining exciting and ennobling possibilities. And they also describe it as enlisting others in a common vision by appealing to shared aspirations. Enlisting others in a common vision by appealing to shared aspirations. Now it's interesting, I had a, was having a conversation with one of my clients some time ago. And when talking about the challenge he was having with his organization, he says that they had these waves of discontent, waves of discontent. And, and I could, what a visualization that I had, that at some point the team is up and they're motivated and they're inspired. And other times they were down in the doldrums. And he, it was challenging for him how to, how to get people, how to keep that even keel or, you know, be always on the positive, the upside. And one of the things I noticed when I was talking to him was that he was always really enthusiastic about his organization, about the work they were doing. In fact, it was interesting. You could see his eyes light up when he talked about it. The joy he had with his organization. And at one point, I remember very clearly asking him, do you talk that way with your employees, with your staff? Do you let them know about what your vision is for your organization? Because you're so passionate about it. And he stopped and he went, wow, let me think about that. And as we talked about it, we, he noticed, he recognized that no, you know, it was something probably he wasn't doing. His vision, he had a vision, a clear vision for his organization. He knew it, but was he communicating it? Which brings us to the first behavior in inspiring a shared vision, which is talks about future trends that will influence how our work gets done. Does he as a leader, how frequently as a leader, does he talk about the future trends that will influence how his work and the work of the organization gets done? How often is he talking about the, what they're looking to the future? He's an industry that's always changing, that's rapidly changing. Is he letting them know what his vision is and how they're going to reach there? Is he engaging them in those conversations? Are you engaging your staff as a leader with your team? Are you engaging them in those conversations? If I was to ask the people you report to how frequently you do that, what would they say? Think about that. Your vision being able to communicate that. What is your vision? Let's talk about that next week. Thank you very much for watching me this week and we look forward to talking to you again. Take care.